Welcome back, bro. A uh, video about the morals, double standards. A lot of women will say men have that. I don't really see it because in this video, I'm going to show you why I believe women have way more double standards and double mores than men. Men's preferences is called insecurities. Women's preferences is called standards. Well, she's she has standards for herself. Well, I understand that you have standards. Yeah, yeah, but... I want uh, I want this and this and this. You're insecure. You you you're not you're not masculine. You're not man enough for me. That's how it is, bro. They believe that they truly believe this. I, I don't know who made them like this, but they truly believe that whatever they want is standard. It's 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 because I am worthy. It's because I'm worth this much. But if a man has preferences. It's called insecurities. Let's start with it. And the thing is, when I go through this list or this, this, these things, when I'm starting to talk about this, you're going to see most of the things that women call standards are genetical. And a lot or not even a lot, everything that men have preferences on is things you can change. So women can actually self-improve into becoming a good mate for a man. But men can change their genetics. So it actually means that a lot of these women, the majority of these modern Western women, will want a guy to not even self-improve because he's not going to be worth it. That's a black pill for you. Like if you really want to, if you really want a black pill, I'm going to, I'm not going to sell you a red pill. I'm not going to drag you away from a blue pill. I'm not going to, prevent you from a black pill i'm going to tell you the truth and if the truth is that as a short guy you're going to do significantly less than a tall guy i'm going to tell you that i'm not going to tell you oh it doesn't matter just be confident bro just just get a haircut and hit the gym bro that doesn't work um i'm a living proof of that so here we go let's start with men preferences because they're so bad right men's preferences is so bad all oh, toxic men oh my god they're, they're all, men is all evil. Oh, we should kill all men. My God, men. Well, men's preferences, don't be fat. Like most men don't want you to be fat. Okay, so how do you not be fat? Don't overeat calories. Maybe you should only eat 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day. Some of it be protein, some of it be carbs, some of it be fat. It can be pretty balanced. You're not going to probably muscle build. Now, a lot of the gym girls will tell me, well, I hit the gym. Then you can probably eat close to three, maybe 3,500 calories. I've never met a woman who was nearly able to eat that, like, consistently. That's, like, the real gym goers that eat that. Around 2,005 to 3,000 is good calories. Now, if you're a 5'10 woman, like a big woman, or if you're a, or if you're a 5'2", 5'4 woman, it's, it, it will depend. It will depend, of course. But yeah, getting a, getting a nutrition plan that works for you is also extremely important. It's something I say, well, I'm 27% body fat and I'm closing in on 200 pounds. And I'm sitting here talking about, oh, you should eat like, <laughs> but, like I've, I've, I've gone up 45 pounds in like four months and I'm sitting talking to people how they should maintain their body weight. But I'm actually doing it to actually like put on visible decent size like i'm talking putting on size that is visible for for someone that's standing far away like muscle mass uh and then you need to eat more but here's the thing the first one was don't be fat and i even i even gave you the solution how long will it take four months to six months go 20 minutes cardio eat 80 percent clean food then you eat in a cut, so you eat 2,500 to 3,000 calories based on the calorie calculator that you find on the internet, which take you five minutes. And then in four to six months with cardio, a little bit of weightlifting and eating in a cut with 2,500 to 3,000 calories, there you go. You're not going to be fat anymore and you're going to have a good body. Now, of course, it's much easier to just give off a whole lot of excuses, but this is the thing. What is another preference men want? Well, modesty. How does that work? Don't dress promiscuously, right? Don't dress with the clothes that shows it all and just, you know, men don't like that. It's like all in your face. Men don't like that. 
So that's one of the things. Now, am I saying that this is my personal preferences? Am I saying he's going to go after me right now? Because it's like he's sitting there cockily and, and he's a narcissist and he sits there and say, we should be like this, this, that. I agree with all of these. Yeah. But I, I when I tell you it, I give it to you the, the logical hard way. I know it's if you're emotional and you hear this, it's going to be a little bit. Uh, but I'm just giving you like the raw facts. This is what men preferences is. And I'm also a man, so this is also my preferences. Uh, but I'm not telling you like, oh, I believe that you should. If you want to do what you want to do, go do what you want to do, right? I'm not sitting here telling you blah, blah, blah. I'm just telling you that this is what it is. Most men are not going to like you or take you serious if you don't do these things. 100%. I stand for what I say always. And I'm not scared of anything. But what I'm telling you is that... It's not going to help you if you're a woman watching this. It's not going to help you trying to deflect it on me, being like, he's the... I'm not. I'm not. I'm just telling you the truth. What I believe, what older men believe. And we're trying to see this double standard. So let's go back to it. And also to the bros. Most likely, there's only guys watching, like the bros of Invictus. And, and, and they're watching. But, but like, I'm just telling you too, like, bro. Just so you, you were clear. I'm not just sitting here telling, okay, women should be like this and this. <laughs> That's not what I'm doing. I, I was thinking about it. It looks like that. But I'm just telling you what men like. So, modest, not be fat, feminine. The baseline, natural way women should be is feminine. Right? Um, yeah, just be feminine. Well, what does that mean? Be nurturing. You know, what is nurturing? Yeah, you take care of something that is growing. If that is your man, if that is a kid, uh, that is good. Like cleaning, making food, that's all nurturing. You're nurturing a man or you're nurturing a kid. Modest, feminine, nurturing, uh, and, and and not fat. And, and, and that's it. Big tits, big ass, big... Bro, no one cares. Like, I know, I know some guys who are like, oh, I really like that. Yeah, but... Is the, are those the guys you want to take serious? Like, if you're a girl watching this, like, by any chance, if you are watching this, will, do you want to take those guys serious that are screaming at the top of their lungs that butt is the most important things? They think ass is the most important thing. They think boobies is the most important thing. You don't want to take those guys seriously anyway. Like, then you're just going to be, then that's just going to be another one on your body count, which means modest and feminine, all this stuff, you're not going to have a high body count, but you already know this. Like, it's 2023, you already know you shouldn't have that, right? Or preferences is don't be promiscuous, be modest, be feminine, like nurturing, don't be fat, be in good shape and look good, right? Because you're going to hit the gym and not be fat, so you're not going to, you know, you're going to have the curves God gave you, and that's it. Now, let's talk about women's preferences in men, right? Because all of this, you can change, right? You can change your behavior. You can change the way you act. You can change the way you look with, with the body and, 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 and taking care of yourself a little bit so you look cute and you, your body looks good. Now let's talk about women's preferences in men. Because this is called insecurities. If I tell you anyone that I want anything of these in women, I want this or I want that or I want this or I want that, you're just insecure. You're not man enough to handle me. Okay, stupid. It's just my preference, yeah, but you're just insecure. You just, okay, well, let's go with what the preference is in women. And this is called standards. Oh, I have standards. Like, he should be like this. I have standards. Okay, so the first one, six foot tall plus, yay. Now, in my opinion, in my honest opinion, how I, I'm 20, so how I've seen it in the world, it's if you're 5'10 and above, or even uh, if you have like a good, you've done good, and you're five nine, you can you can get in there. Five nine, five ten plus, it's good. But like the, the thing is, five nine, five ten is good if you really work hard and you get in there. But like the 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 real thing is like five eleven. Five eleven, five twelve and up. Then you're really in there. It's there's no change. Like when you're like 180 centimeters, which is like five ten, no five eleven, I mean, you're really in there, right? So you're going to do, can you change your height? No, as a man, you can't. It's just their standards. 
the women's standards is you have to be six foot tall plus. You have to be six three, six two. Uh, you have to be five eleven, five twelve. But you can't change your height. You can't. So that's your genetic thing. We never had any genetics, even though just the stupid guy who's screaming, big ass, big boobs. Bro, who takes those serious? If you take those serious, you deserve to get burned. You know they're, you know those guys are childish. But no genetically thing in the there. But the preference with height is the biggest preference is women in, in what women want. They just height is the most important thing, right? Now women want a great body. Which is something you can make, right? Of course. Um, and women want... Uh... I didn't say hair. I say look good. I didn't say hair with women. But women will want hair. If you go bald, is it your fault? Yes or no? Genetic, right? You can even argue that for men, we have to build our body. Women just grew older and then their body became like boobies is made for milk so they're just going to become big and 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 they're going to get if you if you check online you're going to see that one of the places that women get their most the most fat is through their hips like hips and ass and that's the place you want fat right so it's almost like what the evolution has said or like what books in of evolution have said is that women get their value and their beauty and they just grow up and they can be lazy and get it anyway and men have to work for it so you could say that height is genetic and that muscle insertions and the and the speed of muscle building and and, and all of that stuff and having to build the muscle is also genetic but also hard work but genetic and the uh, going bald and having hair is genetic so what else is preferences in men well, he has to be this in this race. Well, genetic, you're just born with it, right? Like, if you check in the, if you check the stats, the men, like, I don't know, like, over half of the men didn't care about the race of the woman. But, like, 20, 30% of the women became, of course, they're going to care. I'm just saying this is their preference. I'm not saying that some of these are wrong to have as preferences. Not at all. But I'm saying that it's wrong to call these preferences, which you can change insecurities, and then these, which you cannot change, call them standards. Because I understand that you want the race like this, this, this. It's a kid that's going to come out, and it's your kid. You're wired to be this in this way. But then when you start thinking this, like race, height, muscle building, which is genetic, like not losing hair, all this stuff. Now looks in men. Yeah, women are also born with their looks in a way, but men aren't made to look good. I've told this, I've talked about this so many times. Men are not made to look good. We're going to have like a harder face. We're going to have like a more, you know, rough, rough, like when you see our hair, when you see our face. Most of us are going to have like a little bit of a rough spot. Also, we go through more than women. Of course, women, most women that are, realistic knows this like we go through like getting cuts in our head and getting you know all that stuff back here i have like a big cut all this stuff so 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 we become more like rowdy and hard and all that stuff so when you go through this video and you see when i see the men's preferences in women it's all things that women can change but that's insecurities women's preferences in men is all something men can't change but or, yeah, muscle building you can't change, but ugh, something you can't change. Women call that standards. It's the whole agenda. And then we're running after men are just trying to get the, the, the female. They don't care about the preferences. They just want to get a female. And women just want the best men. Then you're going to have 80% of men being lonely and 20% being with, with, uh, with 90% of women, right? That's how it is. That's how it's going to be. But that's just a little look into what I've seen in the world. Like all of these people who are talking about men are insecure because they say this, 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 and that. He just wants you to be modest, feminine, submissive, and, and, and not promiscuous and not fat and take a little bit care of yourself so you look good. And, and that's the things he wants. Right? And that's not insecurity. That's just, that's, that's standards. 
but wanting a guy who's 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 this height and and not bald because of testosterone turning into DHT and 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 and, and like man that's man that's that's this and this muscle oh yeah you you've been working out for seven years but you're not big enough for me or or all this stuff it's like it's so stupid but i want to end this video about talking about women's preferences is called standards and men's preferences is called insecurities by saying that we all live in a world who cares way too much about looks even on both sides on women's side and men's side. And I want to end this off on this. And I want to end this off on this in the mo in most of the of the of the looks videos. Because I'm not I'm not some stupid red pill, blah blah blah. No, I'm not. I just show you people the mindset and the ideology of me Invictus on this channel, this YouTube channel. I'll show you guys what I think of. If you relate in the like minded, become a part of it. But I'm just always going to change it when I or end it when I'm making these looks videos like Bro, both sides are struggling. Women and men are being judged way much, way too much on looks instead of what we have as qualities, right? Some people are making it uh, a little bit harder not to do it, and some people are, you know, not deserving of it. You know. If you like the video, like it so more people can see it. If you dislike it, dislike it. It's less people have to see it. You should comment down below what you think of this. You should uh, share this with someone who might need this. Subscribe to Invictus to be a part of the community and to follow the journey. The brotherhood, actually. We're brothers. Take care, bro. Stay awake, not walking.